Dogs HQ team beat reporter Palmer Toms on with me. Palmer, you have a, a pretty interesting piece up on Dogs HQ today about the freshmen that could overtake some spots at Georgia, and if not overtake them, make a bigger splash than people may expect them to. Let's start off with uh, maybe a name you predict on the offensive side of the ball. Dylan Bell was kind of that guy for Georgia last year. It's going to be tough for a freshman wideout to do that. Uh, at Georgia this year, but maybe there's another dog at a different position group that can do it offensively. Yeah, I think on offense, it's probably a little bit harder because of, like you said, the talent that Georgia has returning from last year's unit, those weapons that are around whoever it is at quarterback. Um, you know, you've got talented receiver group. You've got a talented tight end group. It's always hard to, you know, crack the rotation as an offensive lineman. Um, but I, I, the two names that I look at on offense would be uh, Roderick Robinson, freshman running back, and, and Lawson Lucky, uh, freshman tight end. Um, you know, we, we've seen tight end happen before. Brock Bowers did it in 2021, was a freshman phenom there. I think that gets a little bit harder because Brock Bowers is still there. Uh, and and Lucky is a little bit more like a Bowers than he is, at, say, a Darnell Washington. Uh, but with Roderick Robinson, <clears throat> you're talking about somebody who enters a room that had injury concerns this spring. Uh, depth can be a concern very, very quickly at running back because of just the nature of that position. You're, you're carrying the ball a lot. You're taking a lot of hits. And so you can go from five healthy running backs to just a handful, uh, you know, two or three, and and maybe even have some guys that are playing through injuries. So with a guy like Robinson there, um, you know, I think that he's going to get opportunities uh, and, and he's going to get opportunities to help keep those other guys healthy. He may not be the number one back, but he should get a, his handful of opportunities uh, his fair share of opportunities there in in that running back room. Robinson comes in as the 16th best running back in the 2023 class, according to on three. The other thing, Palmer, about Robinson to me is Mike Bobo is the uh, OC again. And Bobo has a pretty good track record with freshman running backs at Georgia, uh, just historically. I don't know how much credit you want to give to him specifically on that, but he's shown that his offenses can highlight and use and uh, make some pretty good hay out of a freshman running back. You go back to Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, and Sony Michelle. That's pretty good company. So uh, I think with that schedule opening up pretty soft and with the uh, windows there with some Georgia running back injuries, I think Robinson could shine as well. All right, how about on defense, man? Yeah, this is if, – if you were to ask me who is going to be Georgia's freshman of the year – um, which we did in a roundtable discussion over at Dogs HQ today. Um, this is the guy that I would go with, and, and it's Damon Wilson, um, outside linebacker. Um, you know, obviously, that's that. This is the side of the ball. Defense is is the side of the ball where Georgia has recruited better. Um, ironically, they've put more players into the draft from the offense over Kirby Smart's time. Uh, but defense is is the bread and butter of of Kirby Smart Georgia Bulldog football. And Damon Wilson fits that mold. He is college ready uh, coming out of high school, five-star linebacker out of South Florida. Uh, somebody that I think is going to step into that outside linebacker room and contribute right away. Uh, you lose Nolan Smith, you lose Robert Beal, MJ Sherman transfers out. Uh, you know, there are three guys that, that were highly touted or, or, you know, big time players for Georgia over the last several seasons. Um, you know, you, you've got Chaz Chambliss. He is a veteran, but he's a third year. Um, you know, it, it's not like he's been around, you know, four or five seasons. He's just going into his third year. You know, this this was just his second spring with the team. Um, so he's still growing and developing, and he's never been, you know, that, that every down starting outside linebacker for Georgia. Um so, you know, in that room, you've, you've got guys that are going to have to grow up, and I think that that creates an opportunity for a guy like Damon Wilson to step in. Um, you know, Marvin Jones Jr., a fellow South Florida five-star, uh, you know, is in that room as well and, and certainly is somebody that is going to be asked to do more as he goes into his second season. Darius Smith, a, again, another second-year player that's going to be asked to do more. But I think that with Damon Wilson – you know, and this class of 2023 
for Georgia, you know, the number two ranked class, one of the biggest needs for them there was outside linebacker. They signed three guys there, Damon Wilson, Sam and Pimba and Gabe Harris. Uh, <clears throat> and, and all three of them were on campus this spring. Wilson of those three made the biggest impact during the spring game, had a pair of sacks uh, and, and really showed what he's capable of. So I think that when you're talking freshmen and their ability to make an impact right away, Kirby Smart has said this before. He says, we look at these guys, we find what they're good at, and we use them with what they're good at. They don't try to throw the entire defense on them uh, you know, right away. They, they you know, let them grow, and they let them use what they're naturally good at. Damon Wilson is naturally a good pass rusher, and Georgia needs good pad, pass rush this year. I'm excited to see Jordan Hall, the second best defensive lineman in the country in that class, come in. Um, that's a that's a deep position group, and it always is at Georgia, and it only gets deeper every year that Kirby Smart has an opportunity to recruit this program and build up the position groups that he loves the most. It was on the uh, the line of scrimmage, of course. And in that secondary, we saw Malachi Starks as a true freshman uh, really catch on to that defense early on in the year, had some stumbles, and that's the thing to look for. Whether or not these guys catch on quickly, it doesn't mean that they can't plateau, take a step back. It's hard to learn this defense. There's a lot going on. It's like the NFL. But if you can take that step on defense as a freshman at Georgia, you're probably a dude. Appreciate it, Palmer.